What's good, y'all? It's your girl Indy G in the house, and we're back with another episode of Inda Under the Influence, where shit is completely unfiltered, extremely explicit, and absolutely motherfucking <laughs> And over here in the house, we got one of my best friends. Her name is Ewan. Hello, this is it's e- Elaine. It's e- <laughs> Ewan Ivanka. Hello! Hi! This is my first time here, so... Be nice. No, but... I'm, oh my god, it's so fucking hot in here. My tits are sweating. Whatever. <laughs> no, and honestly... Okay. I am so excited for today's topic because I can't tell you... I mean, you already know this because I told you, but like, I can't tell y'all. Ever since that first two videos that I did featuring Coco Kenji, the one about like Chindo culture's toxic, let me know or whatever, like uh, whatever I titled it. Ever since that video, oh my gosh, like that is probably the one video that I get the most DMs and and comments on my TikTok videos Mm -hmm. about. And like, I kid you not, some of y'all are holding guns to my heads being like, make more Chindo content. We want, (laughs) we want it. Like, I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. And actually with uh, today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to, let me see, do I still... Our Girls Need, um, at Our Girls Need on Instagram, because she, essentially what happened was, she uh, posted my story, uh, she posted my uh, video with Kenji on her story, and then I was like, thank you, and then she um, wrote to me, I'll put up the screenshot if anybody wants to just read it, but for audio listeners, um, I well, okay, it's a bunch of like compliments for me. We don't have to <laughs> say that. But um, <laughs> the part where you're talking about life as a as a Chindo kid and how our parents taught us to be that statement uh, is totally 99.99% true and relatable. Hope one day you can bring up topics about Chindo Jakarta versus Chindo Surabaya. They literally have lots of stereotype on one another. And I think that would be an interesting story to talk about. And I read this and I was like, Anjing bener ya? That is a fucking good podcast topic. And then I was like, okay, who out of all my Surabayan friends will want to get on this shit show of a channel and talk about this thing with me? And so I blackmailed Elaine. Yeah, I was... I was threatened. Dipaksa, guys. Got gun to her head so she knows what it feels like. Yeah, so I'm actually quite camera shy. So I didn't want to go on like this show or JU or whatever uh-huh. it is because I'm quite camera shy. But and you know what? It's like, I, in, in my opinion, I think it's like interesting and kind of weird because like you are not shy to take photos in, like to like photos model. Yes, photos itu diem gitu. Kayak gak gerak kan. Yeah. Nah, in itu you have to speak, you have to move around and I'm I'm almost, I'm half blind. I can't even see myself. Jadi she, kayak, she chose like, blindness okay. today. <laughs> Jadi, yeah, yeah. Gitu. But then, like, there's no other narasumber, yeah. What is narasumber? Narasum- what is narasumber? Narasumber is guest. Source? Oh. Guess, like, source, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's very... I'm, I'm in Jakarta. For those of y'all watching and, like, y'all are not, like, familiar with me, if this is your first time, hi. Click that subscribe button, bitch. Um, I, I'm based here in Jakarta. And actually, she's from Surabaya. Mm-hmm. She moved here. I moved here in 2020. So what a I time was, to move to Jakarta, yeah. 2020. Uh, I, I grew up in Surabaya all my life and then went to college and then moved to Jakarta for work. Oh, yeah, and we met in college. She went to yeah. UCLA. I went to LMU. We're both in LA. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah, and then we moved back here. Um, well, and then she moved to Jakarta at the start of the pandemic, which... <laughs> questionable decision. I don't know. I mean, how are you liking it here so far? Like, you've been here for, like, nearly two years now. What? I feel like... Uh, when I first moved here, it felt more like, kayak liburan gitu ya, because I was out of my actual home city. I was out of Surabaya. Uh huh. But now I'm getting used to it. But then again, if you ask me, do you want to move back to Surabaya? The answer is no. No. Right? Like, no. Yeah. No. Let me let me tell you. And mm-hmm. like I'm send I'm literally sending this to. All of my Surabaya friends, if y'all not watching this and leaving comments down below, we are ending our friendship. I do not care. But I have so many Surabaya friends and legit, like, when they come to Jakarta, they never want to go back. Yeah. Like, maybe 9 out of 10. Not even 9 out of 10. Like, 10 out of 10. Bro, it's right? because di Surabaya tuh gak ada apa-apanya, beneran. I, I, I'm not sure how is it these days. I haven't been back in a long, long time. God, but you're... when I left, there was nothing there. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like like oh my gosh no my friend julia shout out to julia uh julia she told me like there's like barely any you know how in jakarta there are a lot of these like very international western restaurants like very fancy sort of like yes yes, uh, yes. Uh, like food like mm-hmm. food dining spaces and then i think she told me like in surabaya there's like i think only one that's like really yeah maybe now like five <laughs> <laughs> oh that is so sad yeah yeah, yeah. i speak the language still (laughs) yes yes for those uh, so many people are obsessed with like bahasa jawa medok like this is the og one like right here (laughs) and you guys are saying that indah is medok right yeah now i'm trying very very hard to not sound medok or else i will be disturbing your ears (laughs) But actually, I feel like they they like that. I don't I don't know. No, cause people tell me like, oh, people in Jakarta like they they find the whole Madoc thing super endearing and like cute. Oh my god, yeah, I have some stories about that later. Do you have a lot of friends from Surabaya in the? <laughs> actually, lot? actually, no. You know what's like, actually, and I don't even think you know any of them, or like you know like yeah, you know not. like maybe one or two. Mm-hmm. No, but actually, I think that's like the most funny ironic thing is that i'm from jakarta but i barely have friends that are from jakarta like and then really? I'll, no because like okay last story short like growing up because i go to an international school like uh-huh. there i didn't hang out with a lot of the indonesian kids right the indonesian kids that were actually from jakarta mm-hmm. and then i moved to la and you know how in la there's like banyak banget anak-anak cindo kan apalagi yeah, yeah, right yeah. there's like so many Indo- uh, indonesian international students And then when I and then ironically number one is like when I moved to LA that was when I started making the most Indonesian friends and then number two a lot mm-hmm. of them are not even from Jakarta. like Jakarta they're from fucking Surabaya or like I got one friend from Makassar and so like and then my, my mom started realizing and my mom was like well, kamu salah berteman <laughs> and I'm like yeah you're right salah berteman harusnya yang anak-anak Jakarta because yeah, yeah. I'm like based <laughs> over here kampung, ngapain, <laughs> yeah exactly and then like oh actually in 2020 i wanted if it weren't for the pandemic i wanted to go visit surabaya mm-hmm. i mean obviously because i got friends over there they can like show me around and like the yeah. only thing that i know about surabaya is that the food there food. is great food is very good yeah you but know like local local food yeah no oh no we can talk about that because like you know what i find so interesting is like i see all of these like all obviously like no surprise a lot of my friends from surabaya are like the chindos that are lebih mm-hmm. menengah ke atas ya uh-huh. and then you think you would think that like usually it's like oh like wealthier people they don't want to be you know eating ghetto food type shit that they don't they wouldn't want to be eating at like warongs or like more lower tier restaurants like they want something that's like more fancy, fancy. or whatever but actually like I've, like a lot of my friends in surabaya like they fuck with warong food like i see them go into like all the small food stalls yeah, 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 tapi yeah. jalan di surabaya gitu yeah, banyak banget actually yeah. kayak when i was growing up in surabaya i ate more of those warung type foods and kayak di pinggir jalan daripada when I'm in Jakarta now. I barely like find any, I don't know, maybe there's so, like, <laughs> I, I live in Pig, right? I live in Pig. There's no warung in Pig, gitu. Kayak, kayak I mean, ja- 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 jarang gitu. Tapi kayak kalau di Surabaya, itu kayak di sekitar rumah, di sekitar sekolah, apa itu kayak banyak, banyak warung-warung enak dari yang bersih, gitu. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, I feel like bersih, you said. Lumayan, lumayan, lumayan. It's not very, it's not super dirty. I don't know, yeah, nggak tahu ya. Yeah, but I mean, I'm fine now. Because that's because that's the thing I feel like about <laughs> eating warungs, uh, warungs here in Jakarta. Kamu kayaknya fix diare sih. Really? At least like, oh my god, that was like my struggle going growing up. Because I would like like so, uh, some of my friends like they would want to eat at like the warung like right across school, yeah. or, like you know like the mba mba yang bikin kayak mie goreng kayak gitu mm-hmm. and like those fucking styrofoam little like yeah, boxes. Yeah, that was that was my life, dude. Really. In front of my school, that batagor enak banget. Yeah, and like oh my god, no, but as a kid. I feel like it's because my mom is like shelters me so much when it comes to food, mm-hmm. and she always had such a like she always put me on such a leash on like what I can eat and where I can't eat, mm. and so like come the time I rebel, <laughs> and I want to eat at like fucking like warungs and shit. I used to get sick all the time. I used to get like mad stomach issues as a kid, oh, and then that's how my mom okay. would know that like oh it's because you eat here. See yeah. what I told you. Like, Now yeah. it's about 
like adapting. The more you eat, yeah. <laughs> lama-lama kebal, lama-lama. But it's true. Like you build up tolerance, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the list of like things, what we can talk about the differences between Chindos and Jakarta versus Chindos and Surabaya. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go in order of like yeah. what I have on the list. Very this fair. is very unhinged, unhinged, unscripted. But um, who do you think is more friendly and approachable, rata-rata? Definitely Jakarta, see. Yeah, I've never made more friends than I have now in Jakarta. Gitu. Even compared to Chindos in LA, uh-huh. I feel like Indos and Chindos in general in Jakarta are way more friendly and they're down to meet new people. Even as a, as a, as someone from Surabaya myself, mm-hmm. sometimes talking to a group of Surabaya people mm-hmm. or Surabaya girls, itu bisa kayak... <laughs> it's, it's a... New people, yeah, new people. If we're meeting new people, itu uh-huh. bisa kayak ada a layer of ice. Gitu. Yeah. Kayak, kayak a layer of jaim, gitu. Uh-huh. They're yeah. always like sitting pretty and prim and proper, uh-huh. kayak gitu. And kayak... Oh ya, yeah, hi. Yeah. Kenalan. And then like, nggak ngeliat-liat, nggak ngeliat-liatan doang. Terus kayak diem, diem. Gak, yeah. Kayak, meanwhile, um, my experience so far in Jakarta, uh-huh. kayak selalu, we are always down, they are always down to uh-huh. talk to you first. Or, um, drive the conversation. Uh-huh. Atau kayak, say hi, introduce myself. And yeah. kayak, um, introduce their friends. Kayak gitu tuh, orang uh-huh. Jakarta selalu lebih open sih. Uh-huh. And, kayak bisa mis- let's say kayak gabung one group with another group itu bisa digabung kayak gitu. Mewa in Surabaya um, kayak ada kayak rada rada a lot of clicks gitu. Clicky. Ya. Clicky lah. Regina Clicky George lah. type shit. Yeah, you can't yeah, 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 you yeah. can't sit with us. Lebih yeah, yeah, it's it's it has that kind of vibe lebihan gitu. Then another true. thing I noticed itu uh-huh. Chindos in Jakarta, they are more down to mix with non-Chindos. Oh, yeah, and it includes oh, we can it includes so um pribumi mm-hmm. and also like white people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pokoknya they're more multicultural. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, in Surabaya, it's very a group of friends. Biasanya kayak homogenous banget gitu. They're just Chindos. I'm not saying that they deliberately um, avoid non-Chindos. But I feel like in Surabaya, the composition of Chindos and non-Chindos itself is already very separated. Mm-hmm. So, kalau di Jakarta tuh, in Selatan, mm-hmm. kan you, you get a good mix kan? Chindo, non-Chindo, yeah. orang, orang expats, mm-hmm. gitu-gitu. Kalau di Surabaya itu, um, it's very common, kayak in one school, semuanya Chindo, yeah. gitu. Or in one area, semuanya Chindo. Jadi, yeah. it's non-intentional, mm-hmm. but it kind of affect our... Upbringing atau gimana ya? Kayak it kind of affect our the way you see the other, the, the way the way the way people make friends in Surabaya. Yeah, they, they tend to approach yang mirip-mirip kayak yeah. gitu. I mm-hmm. I will say I have I have yeah. noticed that. No, you know what's so interesting is that I I don't technically disagree with what you just said. I have mm-hmm. a very different interpretation mm-hmm. of of the 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 question because I asked like. I've always wondered, like, you know, in terms of, like, friendliness and approachableness. Yeah. Well, actually, do I think Chindu... I don't know. Hmm, that's okay. <laughs> I'm wondering about my own question. Well, okay, yeah. Do you, do you think I'm approachable? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're approachable, <laughs> but, like, but, like, you're yeah, not... I don't represent. <laughs> yeah, you don't represent. Like, none of us represent. I don't represent all Chindos. I mean, mm-hmm. I am probably the furthest away from representing Chindos of Jakarta, but, like, you're also not, like, <laughs> the representation of Chindos in Surabaya, you know? I feel like I just interpret it in a different way, or, like, I've always seen it in a different way. Because you know how I've always felt? And, look, take all of this with a grain of salt, you guys. Like, I yeah, think... this yeah. is not generalizing. This is just... Generalization, lah. It's not representative of everyone, obviously. But also, I feel like I do have a little bit of bias, just because like I am from Jakarta, so mm-hmm. I am more biased against Jakarta in in some aspects. But my experience with a lot of Surabayans, okay. So and also for like disclaimer, anytime we say Jakartans and Surabayans, like we're just talk, we're just strictly talking about Chindos. Uh, from Jakarta or Chindos from Surabaya so like this has nothing to do with like the native Indonesian population like this is just all Chindos anyways Jakartans have a higher threshold of like requirements when it comes to like being able to hang out with them or kind of like be in the same circle as them because let me try to explain that I've always felt like I kind of get away with not being like so buddy 
I, I'm not necessarily like buddy buddies with them, but like they can. Uh, aku dianggapin. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, like they kind of acknowledge me. It, it, like some type of way. They ini orang Jakartans or Surabayans. Surabayans, oh, okay. like with Surab with Surabayan shindos, yeah. I always felt like they have a lower threshold compared to Jakartans, just because I feel like shindos dari Jakarta and shindos dari Surabaya in general, I think there is a little bit of like a race element to it that you number one gotta be shindo, right? Mm-hmm. It's like the number one the number one thing that they kind of look at, and then the second to that is like money. Right, yeah. of like close proximity of socioeconomic economic status. Yeah. I would say, like in general, I think it's fair to say, if you're at the least middle class or maybe upper middle class, like it would still kind of tick the box. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah, chindo, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. upper middle, uh, like middle class or upper middle class. I really think, like with Surabaya and chindos, that's about it. Like you meet. Those two Those requirements, two yes, yeah. it won't guarantee that like oh we'll be buddy buddies, but like you'll be anggapin. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anggap kayak you you won't be like oh who's that uh, girl? Yeah. Don't sit with us. Itu nggak nggak. Yeah, gak. I'm chindo. I'm at least middle class. You know, and so it's like once they see that and like uh-huh. they know that they would actually like approach me first. And then I here's see. the thing: in Jakarta, you also have those two boxes, right? To check chindo. At least middle class, mm-hmm. but in Jakarta, I feel like it's not enough. In Jakarta, you don't. It's like it's not just chindo and middle class and and like at least middle class. Sometimes, what like, are the other boxes? Sometimes okay. I feel like, and maybe I don't know if this is like just South Jakarta. And again, so much of this is just my personal experience. Take this with a grain of salt. But like speaks like at least some English, like being able to speak oh, some English, right? Okay, okay. I take that yeah, box yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, but yeah. then the other part is that it's also they. I feel like Cindo Cindo Jakarta, they're very particular. They really liat liat kamu tuh bergaulnya sama siapa. Mm, okay, okay, I really okay. feel that way with Jakarta. It's like, oh, do you know this person? Yeah, dia mainnya sama siapa sih? Oh, okay, okay. Right. So maybe more like, are you from those same schools? Same school, yeah. same click, same like community. Anything. Yeah, like are you like who is in your circle? I feel like Cindo's in Jakarta. They really really look at that. Mm. And I. And maybe with with my experience with Surabayans, maybe that doesn't apply to me because I'm not from the same city. I don't know if they do yeah. that back home. Um, not really. See, yeah, that, yeah, right. Not, not terlalu see. Lang language definitely not an issue. Yeah, okay, yeah. The whole English thing. The whole English thing. Uh, I feel like people in Surabaya speak way more Indo than English. Kalau di Jakarta, kalau di Jakarta tu. A lot of international school kids yeah. udah speakingnya full English kan, like yeah. you, like, like yeah. our friends, yeah. gitu. Tapi kalau in Surabaya, the international school kids also speak half half lah, yeah. kayak gadu gadu gitu. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Over here, it's like, and then especially like I'm in the Jaxel area, and it's like well known, like Jaxel. Jaxel for those of you watching not from Jakarta, Jaxel is Jakarta Selatan, yeah. So it's like I gotta always remember that not everybody, <laughs> you know, not everybody watching my videos and subscribe to me or like following me are from Jakarta. Like they might yeah. not act like they might not necessarily like get these t- sort of things. In Jakarta Selatan, like the stereotype is that if you're from the south of Jakarta, you're gonna speak like essentially like think Chinta Laura, mi- yeah. mixed with yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy William boleh, type boleh shit. Gitu lah. Yeah, kayak yeah, like boleh. yeah, hi, oh my gosh, udah like long time no see, yeah. Eh, kemarin I called you, tapi you nggak answer my phone call. Yeah, you know, yeah. like that. yeah, yeah, it's very like that. Like, um, super, super mixed, like that mm-hmm. fucking Traveloka billboard that nearly sent me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you saw it. I saw, saw it. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically Jakarta juxtalingo <laughs> all the way through and trying to just fit in with the yeah, millennial um, Jaxel generation. Oh my gosh, no, that sends <laughs> me Gen down. Z. No, stop. That sends me down a mm-hmm. fucking spiral. That sends me down a fucking hadu, spiral. Hadu. I'm sorry. Who made I, that? Who, who made that? Who made that? I want to speak to the fucking Who's manager. Intern? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but anyways. No, back to the whole like friendly, approachable mm-hmm. point. I'm not actually sure who's more approachable. In general, I feel like Chindos are the least approachable people. You, you think so? <laughs> in general, I don't even care if it's like from Jakarta or Surabaya. Like they're in general hard to approach. This kind of segues into the topic of like lifestyle yeah. like uh because i feel like what i've noticed at least amongst like my upper class chindo surabayan friends you know what the biggest distinction amongst like uh, the ones there and then the ones here is that of course chindo like upper class chindos in general i think like the stereotype for us mm-hmm. is like we 
kayak hedon banget right like the the lifestyle like like spending a lot of money and like dripping in luxury but i've actually noticed like i feel like in jakarta there is such a there's a much higher expectation to constantly live up to that image okay and like constantly uh constantly look p- polished and like well dressed and like not even just well dressed like rapi but like well dressed like like sporting a lot of designer and like mm-hmm. uh, to be excess i guess excess is the word i feel like here people feel like they need to be excess all the time i feel like in i feel like mm-hmm. in for in surabaya amongst the chindos they don't often like they're not as gung ho about it all the time but when they go big they go really big like they go bigger <laughs> they go bigger than the ones in jakarta Yes, yes, yes. I have to agree with that. Right? I have to agree with that. Because you know what people don't realize is that a lot of the money in Indonesia, like all of these like super like fucking lavish rich people, a lot of them are actually not from Jakarta. Yeah. I mean, you know? Okay, so I think um, when you're speaking about spending power, uh-huh. Jakarta has more spending power, definitely, for the more common people. So like, Orang-orang yang kayak ada duit tuh lebih banyak di Jakarta, ya uh-huh. gitu. Tapi True. misalnya di Surabaya tuh lebih, ya of course as the second second biggest city kan Jakarta kan paling besar kan. Yeah. Surabaya kan kedua. Yeah. Um, our spending power itu um, the mean or the median itu not as high as Jakarta, mm-hmm. and things are a lot cheaper as well in Surabaya. Uh. Ya, lumayan, lumayan quite a lot cheaper. Uh-huh. But then, um, ya itu like like you said. Um, mm-hmm the upper class the that top how many percent mm-hmm. they're super they're they're super aware mm-hmm. of what they have right yeah and they love showing what they have as well yeah. okay super all out extra lah yeah. orang Surabaya itu extra very 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 extra it, it's like they either go big or go home when it comes yeah. to like showing you that oh i have money i yeah, am yeah, rich yeah, 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 but yeah. here in jakarta i feel like it's one of those um a lot of people are more low key in jakarta low key but they do it yeah. in little ways all the time yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. and then you're like oh shit okay yeah yeah dia ternyata yang punya ini yang punya itu yeah, yeah, gitu, yeah, kan? yeah, yeah. but like they don't really show it kayak gitu uh-huh. meanwhile in surabaya kayak if you are rich and uh-huh. if you have a lot of money then udah almost 100% orang tuh pasti show gitu. yeah. through how they dress what they drive mm-hmm. yeah, blah 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 and gitu gitu gitulah kayak you've seen on instagram right um kayak the hashtag crazy, crazy rich surabaya gitu gitu kayak itu kayak Aduh, as a Surabaya, that feels uh-huh. super tacky to me. Bro, kayak, anjing uh-huh. itu kayak ngerusak image satu kota gitu loh. <laughs> <laughs> ya, yeah, Crazy Rich Surabaya. Terus kayak yang kalau Sweet Seventeen, kayak these girls. <gasps> itu kalau Sweet Seventeen itu kayak pre-sweet fotonya tuh kayak tujuh kali di Paris, Korea, Dubai. Kayak uh-huh. Mesir, apa, wadah-wadah. Terus kayak, kayak 10 teman kayak gitu kan. Uh-huh. Ya, itu Surabaya tuh kayak gitu. They're yeah. super flashy. Yeah. And they love getting out on camera. In Jakarta... It's humble bragging. Hum, gitu ya, it's humble, humble bragging. No, humble bragging is the shit over here. It's the little things like, don't show off too much, but show off just enough to drive home the point that, oh, I have money. But don't be too over the top with it. That's why you have to do it all the time. Yeah, subtle. Subtle. <laughs> subtle. That's why you have to, that's why it, it, it falls back again to like, it's the kind of constant pressure to be like that all the time, right? Okay. But okay, then in Surabaya, okay. it's like, I don't have to be like that all the time. It's just like when I do, I go big. On my birthday. On my birthday. Oh my fucking god! Like, <laughs> ada ada kayak sering banget sih lihat di Instagram, lihat di Instagram itu kayak mm-hmm. misalnya ada this this girl ulang tahun, uh-huh. this 17 or 18 or 19 or 20. I don't know. Kayak uh-huh. they celebrate birthdays. Kayak sering banget. Habis yeah. itu, um, mereka kayak holding this kayak drive. Kayak apa ya? Kayak nyumbang gitu loh. Kayak nyumbang uang. Like, a, like donations? Like, like donations, yeah. Donations. Tapi donation misalnya tuh bukan kayak you're just donating gitu. It's like a political party gitu. Donationnya tuh kayak ada spanduknya. Spanduknya kayak misalnya Elaine nih ulang tahun ke-18 gitu. Oh ya yeah, Elaine's 18th birthday donation. Kayak ada spanduk-spanduk kayak anjing gitu. Donasi, <laughs> anjing donasi buat apa udah kayak kayak gitu? Donasi. Bu- m- maksudnya kayak not donasi for me. Uh-huh. I'm donating to people. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah. The other way around. 18th birthday donation. Terus kayak dikirim ke sini. Terus ada ada kayak kameranya short film yang kayak. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ya, yeah, I'm very happy to be donating today for my birthday. Gini kan. Terus Inggrisnya medok juga kan. Oh I am God. very happy to be. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know. I, 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 we need to talk about that. We need to talk about that because for context, there are so many. Well, at least in my school, there. Uh, I go to LMU, right? Because I think mm-hmm. in UCLA there aren't a lot of Surabayans. Not, not, not so many. Not, not so, so many, many but yeah. at, at LMU, there are not that many either. It's not, I don't think they're the majority, but like enough where there's a presence. There yeah, is, in, a, yeah, yeah, there yeah, is yeah. a Surabayan yeah. presence at mm-hmm. LMU. And I shit you not, the funniest, funniest thing. So, um, do you know, can I see? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll censor that name. Have you ever yeah. heard him speak in English? Yeah. It's like <laughs> the funniest thing. No, no, no. So because we we used to be, uh, we shared a lot of classes together, a lot, and like yeah. uh, a lot, sometimes like we would study together too. Yeah. And so like the library in the library, there's a Starbucks, right? And then mm-hmm. one day, uh, we was in line for for Starbucks and sensor there was uh he was like right in front of me and said he was ordering first right and the thing with me um and a lot of the other ch- uh, Chindo kids. Usually, this is how it goes when we talk. I speak to them in English and they speak to me in Indonesian because we just yeah. stick with whatever is comfortable and it mm-hmm. doesn't matter as long as we just understand each other, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so yeah, I barely hear b- speak in English. But when he's in front in like this uh, Starbucks and that's when I got to hear him speak in English, right? And I never realized, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> I mean, even for me, it's very hard for me to remove 100% of, of my mado- from my English, uh, you know. Of course. But, but <laughs> being friends with Inda, I've been practicing more and more English. <laughs> Anjing gue jadi guru Inggris more aja and sih. More English, so kayak, aduh gimana ya caranya supaya gak terlalu mado gitu Inggris. Tapi kayak, naturally, no. naturally, <laughs> the, so the easiest way for us to speak is with an accent. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, but Straight up, it's like, yeah, can I have this one? Um, the caramel cappuccino with yeah, the yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it's like yeah. very so kaya kental, gitu, kental, kental banget. Like I would hear that accent from seven blocks away and know that this man is from Surabaya. Yeah. On God, it was so fu- it's so funny and like yeah, I yeah, never yeah, realized yeah, 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 it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, what were we talking about before the English? It's just like um, like lifestyle. I don't know if you've seen on Instagram, but kaya ada this guy namanya sensor ya. Yeah. <laughs> namanya itu No. Dia tuh orang Surabaya gitu, uh-huh. but kayak apparently his kayak crazy rich Surabayan gitu lah. Oh, he's one of those. Yeah, he's one of those. Okay. And dia tuh so his he partnered with the with kayak tourism of Surabaya. Abis itu kayak dia tuh kayak um, make a video. Intinya bikin video like a professionally produced video uh-huh. kayak to um, show to show Surabaya tourism. Yeah. And then it was all his cars. Yeah, nggak ada turismnya sama sekali, dah. Kayak <laughs> apa yang dilihat dari Surabaya? Mau lihat Lambo, mau lihat your Lambo, gitu. <laughs> oh my God, no that. Ups- Ma- <laughs> ngeng, 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 ngeng. <laughs> the whole, the entire video. I'm like, okay. Pa- passing by, Great passing job. by, the, passing by the slums of uh, like a bright yellow Lamborghini. Yeah, kayak oh. gitu. <laughs> how Surabaya people dress is quite similar to how North, North. North people dress kayak jaket anak-anak orang jatuh. anak-anak anak-anak pick anak-anak pick lah mereka suka logo gitu kan kayak Gucci, Balenciaga, ya, gitu, <laughs> Givenchy, ya. ada horror Twilernya di tengah gitu, like they kayak orang Surabaya tuh suka kayak gitu memang kayak yeah, kita suka again, yang it's flashy like, flashy gitu, yeah and not only in the brands ya tapi also in the colors and this also happened to me kayak uh-huh. before um, Orang Surabaya tuh suka kayak bright colors, misalnya kayak merah gitu, merah, Wah, orange. Itu Cina, itu Cina banget sih. Iya, Cina banget kan. Kami <laughs> Cindo kan. Uh-uh. Merah, orange, kuning, bunga-bunga, gus kayak gitu. <laughs> kayak, makanya kayak semuanya tuh very bright, very bright and very mencolok kayak gitu. Uh-huh. And ini juga, this was also me ya, yeah, maybe five years back gitu kayak when I was in pertama kali datang ke LA, Eh-eh. maybe like my first two years tuh kayak. Baju gue merah semua, gak tau kenapa. <laughs> Anjing. Terus kayak, I notice tuh. Bro, merah. Terus lama, lama-lama kayak, aduh kok kayak, sangat-sangat mencolok gitu ya. So I switch to, uh-huh. like, more neutral mix of colors. Tapi if you, if you wanna see, uh-huh. ini kemarin I pull up this photo, for this video. Uh-huh. Kayak, kita ini, 
um, memang suka merah gitu. Can you Mana say, ya? Are you comfortable? Okay, can I put that up on the screen? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we can like cover faces mm-hmm. if there are faces. We can, we can like cover faces. Yeah. Tapi ada. So this was a birthday party. Uh huh. Um, the dress code is black or red. Kayak gitu, for the guests. Uh huh. Merah atau hitam. Uh huh. Gitu. Uh-huh. Terus kayak normally I feel like in Jakarta or in any other places on uh-huh. like on Earth or in Indonesia, gitu. Misalnya merah atau hitam, most people would be wearing black dong. Yeah. Kayak karena it's the easiest color, it's the most neutral color. Yeah, yeah. Tapi ini kayak semuanya merah lagi. Like. <laughs> merah gitu. Oh my god, is this someone's birthday? Yeah, this was someone's birthday dulu. <laughs> merah tuh warna Ho- warna kaya, warna hoki. Yeah. Gitu. Oh my fucking god. Eh ngomong-ngomong kudu, oh my god, no, we can have an entire fucking conversation of like Apa-apa? siapa yang lebih tok-tok Cinanya. Nah, Cina Surabaya itu tok-tok sih. Tok lumayan quite lumayan tok-tok. But I think kalau misalnya dibandingin sama orang Medan, cimet-cimet pik, masih tok-tokan cimet-cimet pik. Kan I've lived in both areas ya, kayak di Surabaya sama in Pik gitu. Orang-orang Pik itu totok banget sih, kayak the language, their culture, itu mereka sangat-sangat totok. See, this is the thing, is like, I feel like, I think Jakarta is, both by population and by geography, land space, is mm-hmm. bigger than Surabaya, right? Yes. We're bigger. Mm-hmm. And then, the, and so what comes with that is also that Jakarta, for those of y'all not from Jakarta and y'all watching this and y'all wondering what's Jakarta like, it's very diverse. So I think it really, everything really depends on where you are in Jakarta. Because, yes. bro, w- when I meet Chindos from the north, I'm like... PTSD, like this reminds me of my mother. My mother itu straight out of the kampung Pontianak, you know, like that woman is like super Cina, totok banget to the point where I wanna die in a hole because it's like <laughs> low key embarrassing for me sometimes, you know. No offense, mom, but like, no, but but like, I'm like in Jakarta, it's the it's the chindos up north that are super super totok. I can speak on this because I'm a chindo from South Jakarta. I feel like we are, of course, because in South Jakarta, we're also associated with being like the more internationalized and more westernized. Yes. And so Chindos down here are like probably the least totok Chinese that you will find. Yeah. Especially Chindos of my generation that grew up in South Jakarta. We're the, we're the most likely to like want to coil away, recoil away from like our Chinese traditions. You know, like yes. we're like, miss me with that type of shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't... I, I don't want to look too Chinese. Yeah. You know? I don't want to seem too tata. Yeah, kan? yeah. But yeah, then yeah, like yeah. up north. Kalau up north tuh kayak Cungkwo itu negara nomor satu di dunia. Okay. <laughs> Mama Papa Surabaya. Mama uh-huh. Papa Surabaya uh-huh. tuh suka kayak ini loh bagus barang ini. Obatnya toko Cungkwo. <laughs> kayak itu kan. <laughs> Medok ya. Itu. itu bagus karena itu toko Cungkwo. <laughs> I used to hate being Chindo. I used to hate being Chindo. If it's Chinese New Year, I only ever celebrated Chinese New Year growing up because my mom literally holds a gun to my head. If I do not sembayang ketikongkong, gue udah disepakim sampai menangis sama mami gue anjir. Like that was literally like I celebrated Chinese like traditions because my mom threatens me and if it weren't, like if it were up to me, I would give no absolute fucks. And actually now that I've grown up, I'm actually malah thankful that my mom mm-hmm. kind of forced me like to do that as a kid well okay maybe like it would have been nice if she wasn't so forceful about it but it was <laughs> no but it was just like i'm i'm gimana ya? how do i i'm not very i'm not being very eloquent about this like i'm i'm glad that i have those memories of doing those uh like in, engaging in my culture and in my traditions as a kid and even if i didn't enjoy it now now that i'm older i'm able to look back and really see the value of it you know yeah who gets married earlier surabaya 100 percent yes i got one brapa Anjir, so I'm I'm 23, I'm turning 24 this year, mm-hmm. and beneran udah kayak I see a lot of my friends getting married or at least getting engaged. Some of them even got married as early as out of high school, kayak umur 18. And it's not accident or anything loh. It's not because of pregnancy or anything. It's because they want to get married early. Um, yeah, I kayak gitu. Then now nowadays a lot of my friends in Surabaya are getting married, getting married, and yeah, or getting engaged, or thinking, or wishing and praying to get proposed very soon. Oh, meanwhile, I'm like I'm fucking scared of marriage. Like, if I'm I, fucking scared of marriage, bitch. If I ever get married, send help. 
if okay, I I'll take note. Ma- if I ever get married, if Inda ever gets married, <laughs> call help. <laughs> you can bust me out of there. I don't know, yeah. I, I don't know. hate the idea of marriage, but that's just me. More like Surabaya moms, see. I don't know. Ah, I don't, I'm not allowed to Surabaya girls or Surabaya moms. But for a lot of Surabaya moms, um, the biggest milestone for for a girl itu masih marriage gitu. Yeah, that's the biggest milestone. Yeah. Even me personally, like my mom, my auntie, mereka tuh selalu give this message to me that um, you're, apa namanya, of course you you can worry about work, you can worry, worry about career, mm-hmm. about your studies, about your passion, business, whatever. Mm-hmm. But kayak what you have to worry the most is finding a good husband. Golek bojo sing api, cuy, itu sing paling penting, kayak gitu. Itu kayak udah ingrained kayak dari kecil. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, no. I so, I mean, this goes without this this goes without saying that Surabaya is way more conservative, way more traditionalistic yeah. and unfortunately patriarchy but and misogyny and sexism yes. run so much deeper there because of it. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Eh, okay. tapi ya. I am from Jakarta and I I where you're 20 I'm 23 going 24 yeah no I'm 24 going, 24 going 20 I'm going to, uh, 24 going 25 so we're really not that different and in my age, like now I am at the age where <laughs> it's so funny because some of my friends are already getting married some of mm-hmm. my friends are like working corporate jobs and living alone like literally living their best life some of my friends can't even leave the house without like permission from their parents mm-hmm. so it's like literally like my 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 all my friends itu kaya uh, are, are completely different stages of yeah. life but I'm at that age really now like every once in a while I open Instagram and like uh, I'm like watching Instagram stories and then it's like ada orang yang mau kawin ah, yeah. baru aja yang ba- ada yang baru tunangan ada yang baru kawin banyak ada banyak yang baru banyak melahirkan banyak. anak ya yeah, ya yeah, yeah. padahal seumur gua atau lebih kecil iya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah. banyak banyak lebih kecil banyak lebih kecil And I'm looking at them like what the fuck do you even know how to take care of yourself what business do you have taking care of a child <laughs> Betul-betul, yang take care nanti yang, Mamanya ya, mamanya, <laughs> mamanya, bukan dianya, mamanya yang ngurusin yeah, Mamanya yang ngurusin, kayak oh gitu Oh my god People still think that um, After 25 Kayak Your life is over Kayak, cewek itu harganya diskon, kayak gitu loh Ya sih, Ngerti gak sih? Nah, That's itu masalahnya the, Itu patriarki banget sih, kayak ngeselin deh Itu seksis banget ya yeah. Seksis banget itu anjing But like Minua kalau cowok itu kayak Makin tua tuh makin mateng Makin sukses Makin iya. bisnisnya, pabriknya makin gede Nah gitu. itu, <laughs> nah itu seksis itu, kan Di atas 25 tuh kayak makin value-nya makin turun yeah. kayak gitu. nah, So nah, that gitu. is That is sadly kayak yeah. A belief yang masih ingrained very deep But I believe not only in Surabaya But more intensely in yeah. More intensely it's way more i would say overt in surabaya in jakarta mm-hmm. it's actually still the same way mm-hmm. i'm at that age i'm 20 20- I go to the fucking like for a uh, first for, for example a hospital uh-huh. and then of course they know my age like yeah yeah and then like sometimes like they would ask me or okay mate, this didn't happen at a hospital <laughs> hold on this didn't happen at a hospital i can't remember where exactly it happened but it was like at some some place like and then like the lady like she knew <laughs> the, the lady like she knew my age and then like she asked me like uh, udah kawin belum and then of course i said no right and then she was like oh kok belum and i'm like huh? what the fuck like what why is that your fucking business so i don't know but like that's like one of the that's a very rare occurrence i feel like in jakarta maybe that's common in sort of i have no idea right but no uh, it's the same i feel like in jakarta it's still the same way i think it's still the same sentiment of like mm-hmm. Yeah, 25 lah. Like, yeah. I, 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 would, I would say so. Which is just... Especially in family meetings, yeah. If oh you're my meeting goodness, yeah. Other families or if you're meeting your, meeting your auntie, uh-huh. uncle, ama, and aku. They're always asking kayak, pacarmu di mana? Kamu punya pacar belum? Yeah, kayak kapan itu. kawin? Uh, no, oh my kapan God. kawin? Can itu I... selalu, selalu. Di Surabaya itu always. Can I tell this one story? My mom might kill me for saying this in front of the camera. I have this one uncle... I have this one uncle. When I was 17, this uncle tried to like convince me to get married to my cousin. Huh? Yes. I'm not even making no. that shit up. I have this one I'm so sorry, but like you have to be mentally deranged. This mentally deranged uncle of mine who by the way, I am not close to any member of my family, so I don't even 
yeah but well back you know back when i was 17 on my birthday dinner and he tried to get me to marry my cousin how like mau nggak dijodohin ya, 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 sama itu si uh, misalnya namanya Kevin like let's just say my cousin's name is Kevin itu si Kevin dia masih i- i- ganteng kan dia ya kan masih itu loh masih uh, belum ka- belum kawin loh ya kalian bagus tuh you know something like that something like that it was like oh, wow. back when I was 17 I don't remember verbatim what he said but then like he was trying to like uh, like steer it towards that direction and then after the uh, and then like I told my mom about it and my mom was like yeah no he's a little like loose in the head oh, so okay. it's like yeah that makes, Phew, okay. that makes sense <laughs> that, makes, that sense. makes sense in general North Jakarta is the most conservative traditionalist and like by proxy of that it North Jakartans are always the ones that are like the most pressured to get married young Uh, yeah. the most obsessed mm-hmm. with getting getting married um i feel it because now like i'm starting to know more people women especially from like north jakarta and it's such a consistent thing they're always the one that is like eh, kalau, like we're hanging out they, they just they what do they talk about boys yeah <laughs> right or take their time about their boyfriends like yeah like i'm waiting for him to like propose kayak gitu. i swear it was that conversation it all happened so many times in surabaya uh-huh and like do you agree or disagree north jakardans too yeah amongst the women i, yeah, I agree right? i agree whereas I, and it's so different like in south jakarta and maybe it has to do with like the circle of people ar- ar- around me but like i just i feel it like in south jakarta it's not to that extent yeah in you know south what I mean? jakarta i feel like the vibe recently is like yeah. i'm so tired of dating men <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. oh and like in general for those of y'all not from jakarta i feel like this might be a, a, some people might disagree but i think this is a fair statement jakarta barat sama jakarta utara tuh biasanya sekelompok like they're Rada milip, rada, rada mirip, rada mirip, hmm. ra, rada mirip, sorry, rada mirip, and then like I think it's selatan and well I don't central. think s- selatan and central, and then timur is the ghetto. <laughs> They, it is. It, I don't know. I'm sorry. No offense to like. Any... I've never been there, see them. Oh, yeah. I have. I, I oh, yeah. nearly. <laughs> No, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're not. Ta- <laughs> you know the story. I know the story. Yeah, we're not yeah. talking about that. Okay. Oh yeah. I remember I was in, I was still in college, like yeah. maybe my second year or my first year even. Pokoknya kayak I was still super young. Yeah. And then I went back home for the summer to in, to Surabaya again, and, and I was talking to married? my friends. I was not talking to my friends. Like, of course, some of them have boyfriends. Gini gono, gini gono. Yeah. And then kayak not one, but like two or three of them, they were thinking of not thinking, but kayak oh yeah, we are opening a joint bank account me and my boyfriend to save and prepare for marriage and they were in sophomore year of college yeah masih muda banget satu dan kayak still in a dating stage you know mm-hmm. and now i think mereka udah putus deh semuanya mm-hmm. kayak gitu kan kayak that's uh, yeah. Yeah, the i feel like sir in surabaya there is way less casual dating than in jakarta yeah no absolutely gitu. i i complain about the lack of casual dating oh um options like uh, uh, the lack of casual dating that ex- I I complain about the lack of casual dating in Jakarta in Surabaya <laughs> almost got a casual dating or oh. at least I haven't witnessed any casual dating mm-hmm. kayak yang banyak gitu yeah. di di Surabaya benar-benar mereka semu- benar-benar kayak semuanya tuh kayak dating is preparing for marriage dating yeah. is preparing for marriage yeah, gitu emang, emang wong desa kalau rata-rata kayak gitu enggak sih kalau kalau di kalo desa pacaran, ya begitu ya ya wong desa tuh kayak gitu kalau pacaran dalam satu tahun kawin or you know, some shit like that or maybe like not in a year some people like maybe they date more but it's like kalau pacaran harus kawin like it like, yeah, it feels yeah, yeah, like yeah, like yeah. that i think mm-hmm, in jakarta mm-hmm. we're more open to like kita pacaran just nah, kita seeing liat, each other yeah. first or like uh, just casual casual dating gitu yeah. kan pacaran lihat bagus apa enggak cocok apa enggak kalau enggak cocok mm-hmm. ya udah putus apa mm-hmm. ya, jangan dibaperin having this conversation i am counting my blessings that i am from jakarta <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I think you will stress banget sih di Surabaya beneran. Oh no 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 no. I say this this might get me in trouble if I say it. Disclaimer this is mostly a joke and I mean no absolute offense to anybody but I've always joked about this to like some of my Surabayan friends that like if I ever have to move to uh, Surabaya I think I'd kill myself. <laughs> I know I it's a little bit of a joke but at the same <laughs> time <laughs> tapi at the same time like no you'd believe it. Like <laughs> I mean it is true karena kayak um Okay, I can speak for my Surabaya friends. 
yang kayak move to Jakarta like you yeah. said earlier, enggak yeah. ada yang mau balik. Dan kayak a lot of people yang di Surabaya sekarang, kayak mm-hmm. my friends in Surabaya, mm-hmm. itu mereka tuh semuanya kayak pengen ke Jakarta gitu, kayak mm-hmm. cepat-cepat pengen ke Jakarta. It's mm-hmm. as if kayak kita tuh refugee gitu. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeking asylum in Jakarta gitu. They're just kayak iya yeah. waiting for the opportunity to move to Jakarta uh-huh. through several different things, through business, uh-huh. through work, uh-huh. through marriage, marriage with the boy from Jakarta gitu-gitu. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's very cause like and we can have a conver- oh we can have such a big conversation about this because like a lot of my friends from Surabaya juga kayak gitu they really just they want to escape the parents right because no 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 i complain so much about like chindo parents from jakarta and like yes i do complain about them and they are shit but then like wow chindo surabaya punya orang tua itu udah kayak like on crack compared to the chindo parents in jakarta wah gila aku liatnya and like they're more because like one of the, the what i wanted to ask you just now is you know how in surabaya banyak banget yang apa cepet kawin like you know like, yeah. uh, like mm-hmm. opening like the joint a joint bank account like preparing mm-hmm. for marriage how much of that is free will and not the parents yang maksa A lot, a, a lot of that is the parents yang maksa yeah, sih. Ya, tuh it's not free um, Di Surabaya tuh sering banget kayak kenalin teman anak teman mama yang ini, mm-hmm. kenalin anak teman mama yang itu gitu yeah, kan. Kayak yeah. so they're matchmaking, you yeah. know. They're matchmaking their kids <sighs> on yeah God. to make sure that they maintain their cultural and socioeconomic standing mm-hmm. through the generations yeah yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. i i want to put this out on the record mostly because i know my mother is watching ma mami kalau pernah pull that type of shit on me aku dijodohin sama teman anaknya teman mami i am running away from home i do not care i do not i told my mom that so many times but i'm gonna say it again in front of the camera like i will literally run away from home if she tries to pull that shit on me and gak terima aku gak terima Kayak, but why gitu kayak why are you not open to not matchmaking uh-huh. but gini orang-orang Cina orang orang mama mami Cina Surabaya terus selalu ngomongnya kayak gini bukan dijodohin ce cuma kenalan tok kayak gitu kan oh oke okay. oh my god my tapi mom... sebenarnya dijodohin gitu sebenarnya yeah, dipaksa oh cepet-cepet no that's the thing that i hate it's like mereka tuh ngomongnya iya cuma kenalin tapi tuh mereka tuh udah ada agenda ya, udah ada agenda kawin. untuk kawin <laughs> betul, betul nah itu aku nggak terima itu aku nggak terima because yeah, like bro yeah. this is my fucking life like let me live how like let me find my own person like let me live however way i want but like that's just i guess me and like mm-hmm. yeah like call it like westernized thinking but like I feel like it's so like is it's not about like west versus east like as humans like we ought to have our own free will and like we have the right to like pursue life like the way that we want without our parents interfering like that's just my belief right yeah, yeah and yeah. like tapi I will say this and my mom has said that to me if my mom just want if my kalau mami aku cuma mau kenalin it's okay. dan gak ada agenda kayak bujuk bujukin kamu jadi kawin sama sama anak ini <laughs> kalau cuma kenalin saja I am okay. Yeah. Cause I'm all, I'm okay like meeting someone. Yes. I'm okay. Tapi kalau sampai disuruh kawin, oh enggak 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 terima aku. Udah lari kemana? I don't care. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> I'm just not realizing. Are there more chindos in Jakarta or Surabaya sih? Nah, I tried to Google yesterday. Yeah. Uh-huh. I udah coba Google, tapi uh-huh. kayak I couldn't find any reliable data. Uh-huh. So kayak I'm just gonna speak from kayak obser- observation. Yeah. I feel like in Jakarta. Uh-huh. Um, mungkin jumlahnya lebih banyak ya mungkin jumlah mungkin by by num by count itu lebih banyak di Jakarta karena of course populationnya lebih besar yeah, yeah. but then again kayak in Jakarta it's more dispersed ya gitu kayak yeah. di selatan ada di utara ada mm-hmm. di um, di barat ada and mm. lebih mixnya tuh mixnya tuh lebih jelas gitu yeah. so like um, let's say from This layer of socioeconomic background, uh-huh. there are both equal equal number of uh-huh. chindos and non chindos kayak itu. Uh-huh. Meanwhile in Surabaya, it's more um, concentrated. Jadi misalnya kayak kayak how to say how to say it ya yeah. kayak usually if you are in a chindo area or in or in a chindo school, ya yeah, all you see is chindos gitu. That's... Or in the mall, in the mall even itu kayak semuanya tuh chindo. I mean. Kebanyakan, banyak yang Cindo gitu. I feel like in Jakarta, it's not to like, I guess it's not that as jarring as that, mm-hmm. but it's it kind of still holds true even here in Jakarta. See si Joshua kan 
dia uh, he he mentioned this on my on, on my channel so I'm not saying anything I'm not supposed to be saying but like he went to a school kan dia utara kan jakut kan and he went to a, a school literally like everybody there except for one person was Cindo like even, like the oh, yeah. yeah and that's in Jakarta Utara and I feel like oh, again it's like okay. the the diff, like Jakarta Utara is really like its own Yeah, just memang banyak aja di situ. Yeah, yeah no, it's like no, it, it is. It's like the it, in Jakarta, it's the mecca of Chindos. Like even in Jakarta Utara tuh mereka panggil like if you're Chindo, mereka panggilnya C atau C gitu kan. Oh, di Surabaya tuh gitu. Ya C, eh, ya dah, betul Surabaya C. But in hmm. Jakarta Utara, it's C, ya kan panggilnya yeah, yeah, ya C yeah. atau like halo ko Mariko gitu. Iya. Yeah. Ispanya uh-huh. Cici atau Koko. If anybody ever calls me Cici Koko over here, I will spaz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to. I'm so used to being called C. No, I'm gitu. so used to being My called. My whole life. Anak. Kak kan, kalau di kalau di Jakarta kan Kak kan lebih kak lebih mba. sering. Iya kan. Kak atau Mbak. Nah, I feel like that is. Itu tuh lebih kayak gimana ya lebih cocok untuk this country karena kayak ya yeah, everyone is just kak it's Indonesian language gitu yeah, kan. Ka. Tapi kalau di Surabaya itu kayak pasti dibanggil C. Ko juga. C kan? atau ko. Oh, we can talk about like the f- oh, we can talk about like the fashion, like the music taste too. I mean, mu- mu- music music I I'm not sure music. Music kayak I feel like everyone just has different tastes. Don't kill music. me. Don't kill me. No, no. Don't kill me. <laughs> what do you think? What do you no, think? No, this is such a generalization, and honestly, uh-huh. it goes both ways because I know chindos that are from Jakarta, and I know chindos that are from Surabaya. If they are on the more religious side, bro, he'll song all fucking day. Oh, <laughs> I get what you, you mean. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they, they, they bop to like Christian Jesus loving music. <laughs> oh okay, But kayak like, no, no, no. ada gen- kayak mungkin generalization kayak cewek-cewek in cewek-cewek Cindo Surabaya tuh lebih kayak lagu-lagu Hillsong, lagu-lagu Disney gitu ya. <laughs> eh kalau eh, Disney aku nggak tahu ya. Disney aku nggak tahu, but oh my god the number of like I will go on Instagram and I will scroll through Instagram stories uh-huh. and when it hits. My Chindo friend from Surabaya. A lot of the times they, kalau nggak post makanan apa? Ke gereja lagi, like the oh, hands up, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Or like they they'll post like listening to like on Spotify. They like post like listening to heal song. You know on Spotify like on desktop like you can see your friends' activity. You can yes, see what they're listening yes. to. If it's like my Chindo friends from Surabaya or from Solo, heal song. Oh, song. oh my god. Okay, time. maybe because maybe because I'm not. religious. Jadi kayak I'm not very religious lah. Jadi kayak yeah. I don't listen to yeah. Hillsong music on the daily. Oh me neither, but I just I notice that it comes more it tends to come more from like the chindos from Surabaya, but that's just in my circle. Mm-hmm. It, it's this is probably the generalization. I don't know, don't kill me. But like that's definitely a thing and also I like, can I can I understand. I understand. But, thing, thing, thing. No, but I swear like EDM, whether you're if you are Chindo, regardless of whether you're from Jakarta or Surabaya, if you are Chindo, EDM has you by the fucking neck. Maksudnya kayak suka. Like, yeah. Suka banget, like it, like probably the most raunchy, rebellious thing that they can listen to is EDM. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You know, yeah, see, like yeah, they're yeah. not gonna be listening to Twenty One. You know, like you know, fucking fucking bitches like Papi Mali and shit. <laughs> EDM, EDM, EDM. It's like if they if they're feeling rebellious and like rebellious, they'll listen to EDM. <laughs> <laughs> Di Jakarta tuh there's this there's this drive to have. Good and unique and indie music taste in Jakarta. Oh my God! Yes, like yes. those people are very exclusive. Yeah, I listen to Led Zeppelin. Atau apa kayak itu lah. Pokoknya kayak <laughs> harus keren gitu lah. Pokoknya harus keren gitu. Kayak like, indie kids from Jaxel and Block M gitu kan. In Jakarta, it's the the cool thing when it comes to like music taste is to listen to like sad, somber kind of like ga, uh, galau music. Like for example, like Choi Sivan. Uh, what's his Han Hone? Yeah, H-O- Han, 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 Keshi, like the more kind of like mellow, the more emo and sad and sad boy, sad girl, sad boy, okay. sad girls. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to sad girls love money, <laughs> but um, like the more kind of galau music, you know, like very like. Oh, you want to be more alternative and more yeah. distinctive in Jakarta. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. but kalau di Surabaya kayaknya 
nggak terlalu kayak gitu deh. Oh my god, another thing we can talk about though. I don't care if you're Surabaya, if you're a Chindo from Surabaya or a Chindo from Jakarta. Oh god, you will have a, at least one Bible verse in, in your Instagram bio. <laughs> And cut. Watch the rest of the full episode on part two coming out soon. In the meantime, go click that subscribe button if you're tuning in on YouTube, or go hit that follow button if you're on Spotify or Apple Podcast. That's an order, not a request. Bye.